Hello guys, so today in this video we are going to discuss about the basic project structure of Flutter project. Okay, so first of all, uh, you can see a lot of files and folders are there that start with a dot. So you can basically uh, skip that because uh, they are not most of the time useful. So out of them, uh, whenever, whatever we will use, I will let you know the more detail. So here the first one is start tools it basically contain the information about dart build and whatever packages are there everything is there and this idea is basically a folder that is related to the configuration of this uh, ide that is vs code and then we have a android folder this is for android specific source code and libraries then we have a build folder so this folder will be automatically generated whenever you try to create a build like you are creating an apk file then you will be able to find it over here so i will show you whenever we will generate a build and then we have ios folder that contains ios specific source code and the files then we have lib folder so this is basically the main folder where we need to write the flutter code so you can see the main dot dart file over here okay so then we have linux folder that is for linux specific code then mac os that is for mac os specific code then we have a test for writing test cases and then we have web for if you want to generate web specific code that would be generated over here then we have windows so for windows specific code it would be here inside this folder then this is git ignore which is used by the git the versioning control so whenever you want to push something into the repository if you don't want to push something then you can specify inside this so git command will ignore that then metadata is basically related to this uh, whatever uh, version of the app whatever channel you're working on a lot of information is there then packages will contain some dependencies whatever we have already in the this uh, pub spec your yaml file so it is basically generated by that pub that is package manager then we have analysis uh, this is basically a file that we use for analysis so here you can mention some rules which need to be followed by writing the code so basically it will cross check that rules so it is basically used for best coding practices okay then we have this first app implement so basically you don't need to bother about this so uh, it is again containing some components and modules uh, these are auto generated you don't need to bother about this then we have this pub spec dot log so this is again a auto generated file you don't need to bother about this you can even delete it it would be generated automatically whenever you modify this pub spec dot file so this pub spec dot yml file is very important so here we mention the name of the project application the description where you are publishing what is the version what on which environment it is going on and all the dependencies and other stuff so whenever we work with that dependency and other stuff i will let you know how to use these let's close it and the last one is readme.md this readme.md file is very useful whenever we push our project on any repository so there you must have seen some readme file so that file is totally coming from this file so that's all for this video if you have any doubt and query do comment in the comment section thank you